It is great to have you back here at Coin Lady Channel. Attention all crypto enthusiasts. Forbes has published yet another article discussing various digital assets, including XRP. Typically, this publication discusses price pumps for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, but this time around, it takes a different approach. Instead, it has a hip piece on funding Ripple and XRP. We have subjective opinions that are driving me crazy, as the price of XRP is about to explode. But XRP was the subject of a hit piece in Forbes. I am highly optimistic as a result of this. As of right now, these dudes have 19,900,000x.com followers. As one of the most prominent media outlets, their one and only purpose is to mislead the uninformed masses into siding with the 1% or the enemy. Their goal is to rise to the top, whereas ours is to remain at the bottom. Even though XRP is the only digital asset that is clear that it is not a security, these individuals are using the media to mislead a lot of people into thinking that it is not a good investment. All right, let's examine this and explore all the interesting details we have. The value of blockchains has skyrocketed with Bitcoin's recent price surge. 50 of them have reached $1 billion in valuation, even though many of them have very few users. The most important aspect, folks, is that you're referring to Ripple Labs as a crypto zombie, which means that Ripple XRP is dead. We touched on Jed McCaleb, Arthur Brito, and David Schwartz, and the background of Ripple's a bit. We are all aware that this is completely untrue. Worse yet, Forbes has suggested Tether as an alternative method of moving money across borders. This claim that blockchain technology has improved international money transfers, particularly for stable coins like Tether, is completely absurd. Tether USDT is a massive fraud since it is not even pegged to a fiat currency. The markets are being artificially inflated by the printing of USD at an unprecedented rate, as if there were no tomorrow. People can't really cash out their USDT because there isn't enough of it. Since Tether is also the most popular cryptocurrency for funding terrorists, its demise is certain. We have discovered a massive amount of money, multi-billions of Tethers, that was obtained through illegal financing, a whopping 19.3 billion Tethers. These individuals are completely dependent on XRP, as we can see from the 10 mentions of it in the Forbes articles. According to Marzari, last year, Ripple's XRP ledger, and Amiga 583,000 and fees processing transactions throughout the network. Forbes has added to the FUD by saying this. Now, fees are a major source of revenue for businesses. But that's not how the company is structured. Keeping XRP ledger fees to a minimum is Ripple's primary goal with the XRP ledger. Thus, despite Forbes's best efforts, this is actually a positive development from Ripple. You could also visit our page on x.com. Showtime with JWK. Reducing fees utilizing XRP is the main objective. From mainstream media, we get more entertainment. This largest horde of zombies could pose a threat to Ethereum, according to Forbes. Forbes is basically claiming that any cryptocurrency that competes with Ethereum is a zombie. According to Forbes, this is just absurd. The meteoric rise of crypto's billion-dollar zombies is even linked to the zombie connection, according to Forbes' Mr. Pool. For Mr. Pool in the year 328 to 21, Ripple Labs was a crypto zombie. Can you pause the video and check out this government link to zombies? It's from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, which is all about zombie preparedness. We also have this link for Mr. Pool, as shown on the cover of Forbes. Keep the Assamese in the dark about money and economy by following this link, what is the future of America's regional banks? Back on May 23, 2023, we predicted regional bank clubs, large banks acquiring smaller ones, and Elon Musk even gave us zombie apocalypse survival tips. The 1% and Mr. Pool have been quite vocal about zombies. Well, that concludes our video. 
Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Muchas gracias, depart.